Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 version 23H2, KB5044380, to insiders in the release preview channel, which they made available late yesterday in my region on the 10th of October. So because now it is in its kind of last days of testing before it reaches stable, I would suggest that Microsoft will roll that out to the stable version and the stable channel starting Tuesday the 22nd of October and if we don't see it on that date then I think that we would get it moving into the rest of the end of October 2024. Now if you do decide to install the update because it is optional the build will be bumped up to 22631.4387 or somewhere in that immediate point release vicinity. Now first of all we get six new features that are rolling out with KB5044380. And we also get a couple of bug fixes. And out of the six new features, five of them are on a gradual rollout. So when the update becomes available, you may see these at the get-go or you may not. So the five new features on a gradual rollout and in no particular order is the first one is you now can directly access content on your mobile device from the start menu on your PC. And I've seen a couple of qu uh, questions in the comments, people asking, where is this feature? So here's when it's gonna start rolling out. So using this feature, Microsoft says, you can now view your device's battery status and connectivity, access your voice messages, calls and photos, and pick up where you left off with the latest activities on your device. Take note though that only Android users who are already connected using phone link can get this feature microsoft says ios support will be coming later and to manage this feature you go to settings personalization start so it looks like you'll be able to turn this feature on and off which i think is good news now another little small little change that's rolling out which we have spoken about as well previously is that the all apps in the start menu has a new name and it's just going to be called all so all apps is being renamed to all so small little change for what it's worth and then the third new feature is this update will start the rollout of a new gamepad keyboard layout for the on-screen keyboard and with it you can use your xbox controller to move around the screen and type and apparently button accelerators are also available and microsoft says these include the x button for backspace and the y button for the space bar and for better movement patterns the keyboard keys are aligned vertically according to microsoft and a couple of these features we've spoken about when they were in early preview and now it seems that microsoft is going to start rolling some of these out now the fourth new feature on a gradual rollout and i'm just going to mention this one um you can now stop the suggestions to turn off notifications from certain apps so when you get a notification as an example here in the bottom right of your screen you'll be able to select the three dotted menu also known as the ellipsis menu in that notification and turn it off and you can also go to settings system notifications and turn it off from there as well and then the fifth new feature on a controlled rollout and um, for this one we're just going to quickly head over to our settings and we're going to head to privacy and security and yeah, we're going to get to tailored experiences. Okay, so the, the fifth new feature is tailored experiences is now personalized offers in the out of box OOB experience. And you can find it on the recommendations and offers page, which means you go to settings, privacy and security. And yeah, this will be changed to personalized offers and you'll be able to turn off the setting that sends data about your device to enhance Windows. So this is just going to get a name change to personalized offers. So those are the five new features that will be rolled out gradually by Microsoft. And then the new feature that's on a normal rollout, which we've also spoken about previously, is regarding the Copilot key settings. So if you are, as an example, running a Copilot Plus PC, and you have a copilot key you can now configure the copilot key on the keyboard microsoft microsoft says that on new devices the key opens the copilot app as you may well know so you can now make the 
key open a different app or open search. So to do this, Microsoft says you go to the settings, personalization, text input, and then to make the key open a different app, the app must be in a signed M6 package, which ensures that the app meets security and privacy standards according to Microsoft to keep you safe. And if your PC's keyboard does not have a Copilot key, just take note, changing the setting will do nothing. So that's the sixth new feature rolling out which is on a normal rollout now because this is a bug fix update if you do want to stick around i'm just going to mention a couple of bugs that i thought may be of interest that have been fixed first of all the first one is regarding uh, your battery use where they fixed a, a, a issue with battery use where a device was using too much battery power while the device is in modern standby which i think is good news and there's a fix for Microsoft Teams. Apparently, there was an issue that was stopping you from joining Teams meetings when you select an Outlook meeting reminder. And then if you are using a virtual machine, there's a fix for VM switch, where a VM switch was tr triggering a stop error, which is a blue screen of death. And I always say any blue screen that gets fixed is an important uh, fix in my personal opinion. Apparently, this occurred when you use load balancing and fail over teaming with two virtual switches on a virtual machine. And then there's a fix for multifunction uh, printer. Apparently when you used a USB cable to connect to it, it prints specific network commands, command text when you didn't want it to. So that's a printer fix rolling out. And then just three more to mention. There are some others, but I'm just taking some ones I thought you might be interested in. And apparently there's a fix for Windows Hello for Business. Apparently the PIN reset did not work when you select the I forgot my PIN link on the credential, the credential screen. And there's a fix for WebView 2 apps. Apparently they do not detect input from Xbox 360 and Bluetooth controllers. And then the last one to mention, there's a Bluetooth fix. An app stopped responding because of a memory leak in a device. So a memory leak is a performance um, kind of draw on your system so any memory leak as well that gets addressed to some extent or the other will boost the performance on your system so guys that's quite a mouthful but that's the next optional bug fix c release update kb5044380 that will be rolling out shortly for windows 11 version 23h2 so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one